What's up, Cardinals? I'm your host, Lisa Cuevas, and these are your announcements for Monday, November 14, 2016. I know you've been trying to wrap your head around who I am. Oh, 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 Tonight, there will be a college application workshop in room 404 starting immediately after school. There will be another college application workshop scheduled for this Wednesday again in room 404 starting at 2.45. Tomorrow, CSHM and the American Red Cross will be sponsoring the biannual blood drive in the cafeteria starting at 8.30 in the morning. You must be at least 16 years old to donate. A permission slip is required for students who are 16 years old. You can sign up with your UNICEF member or Mr. Stice in room 207. Now let's send it outside to Miko Chavez. Uh, yo, what's good, Cardinals? It's your boy, Miklo McLovin Chavez. So today we're going to be playing a game called Stop Eating My Food. It's when I go around around the school, ask questions, and um, eat their food and see how long it takes for them to notice that I'm eating it. So let's get jiggy with it. So, no, uh, who do you want to be the president and why? Um, I, want, I want Barack Obama to be president still because he's funny and there's a lot of memes of Barack Obama. There's a lot of Barack Obama memes. He's our funniest president. And he's woke. Bro, that's the last one. Sandra, who do you want to win the presidency and why? Um, neither, because neither are capable of being president. Uh, so, uh, Bonte, um, who do you want to win presidency and why? Uh, I want Hillary to win because I am a Democrat. That's cool, that's cool. So, um... What do you think about your soccer season this year? No answer. Mm. So, how was reconciliation today? Boring. Why? I was tired. So, what did you do on the weekend? I honestly can't remember. I think I slept most of it. Um, now, why did you sleep most of the time there? Because I'm always busy here at school. Why aren't you sleeping? Because I can't sleep. Mm, why not? Because <laughs> I can't. Well, why can't you? I don't know, but can you not eat All my right. lunch? It took Andrea 48 seconds to tell Miklo to stop eating food. What extra activity thingy my bobbers are you in after school? Nothing whatsoever. Then how are you tired? I'm tired of being tired. But why are you tired of being tired if you're always sleeping? <laughs> Are you enjoying my lunch? I am. <laughs> you gone over a minute. It took you a minute and three seconds to realize that Miko is eating your food. <laughs> Today's winner is Noah Kovarubius. Uh He noticed that I ate his food in 20.6 seconds. Uh, so how do you feel about that? I don't know. I mean, that's what I do. I'm just out here breaking records, cashing checks, breaking necks. You feel me? Um, you know, he only got two pieces of my chicken. I respect that. You got two. My boy hungry, everyone got to eat, trying to feed my family, you feel me? But um, yeah, I got that last piece of chicken, that's all that matters. I wasn't going to let him have that. Back to the studio. Thank you, Miko. Last week, our seniors participated in their annual reconciliation service. We want to thank Mr. Matoyer and our campus ministry team for putting on this event, and all of the priests who visited our school and participated in the service. Next Thursday and Friday, CSHM will be sponsoring its annual Thanksgiving collection. Please bring all non-perishable food items for your religion classes. This Saturday, we will be hosting our first open house of the school year starting at 11 a.m. Be sure to spread the word to your family and friends. Don't forget this Saturday is also the Mother-Son Dinner Dance. Tickets are now on sale in the front office for $38. Don't miss out on this wonderful event. Now let's send it over to Karen Ochoa for a look at your week's teacher thoughts. Thank you. What's up, Cardinals? I'm Karen Ochoa, and I'm back with this week's teacher thoughts. Okay, so last Tuesday was election day, and I think I speak for the majority of the student body when I say that the results were incredibly disappointing. But we want to see what the teachers have to say, so we're going to be asking the teachers what they think about the newly elected president, so let's see what they say. Hey, Mr. Mark Lewis. Hello. So what do you think about the results of last Tuesday's election? Pooty wheat. What does that mean? That means everything. That's it. Hi, Mr. Munoz. Hi. So what do you think about last week's presidential election results? Well, I was shocked by the results and um, disappointed with the way it came out. Can we unite as a country? I hope so. I think we can. It will be difficult. Things have changed. Um, but we will uh, be Americans and we will 
come together. But I, I am disappointed in the election, but I think that uh, as Americans, we can come together and get beyond this. Good diplomatic answer. You should run for president. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Mr. Say. Hey. So what do you think about the results of last Tuesday's election? Well, it certainly trumped all expectations. Uh, one big step for man, one big step back for mankind. Okay, what else? I also think, you know, it shows we have a lot of things to fix in our country, but luckily, if we have a growth mindset, we can learn from our mistakes. Like I learned from my second grade teacher, mistakes. She was a great teacher. Thanks. So that was it for this week's Teacher Thoughts. All I have to say is, you've disappointed me, America. Back to the studio. Thank you, Karen. I'm Christian Barr, and this is the Georg League Sports Calendar. Once again, there isn't too much to report this week. On Wednesday, the girls' volleyball team, the boys' and girls' cross-country teams, will be holding their annual banquets in the cafeteria starting at 6 p.m. Winter sports are right around the corner, so get excited, Cardinals. Basketball season is almost here. That's it for your weekly sports update. Now let's send it over to Angelica Comenez for another episode of Battle of the Sexes. Hey, Cardinals. So I just want to give it a shout-out to Karen real quick for this beautiful shot that we're in right now. So for this week on Battle of Sexes, we're going to show the teachers this time pictures of old cartoon characters and they're going to have to guess which show they're from. For our guy teacher competitor, we have... You know who I am. So for our girl teacher competitor, we have... Miss Pack. Our first picture... I don't know. I have no idea. It's Danny Phantom. Second picture... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Cerise says. Third one. Oh, that she's from Doug. <laughs> no, she, she's from um, the Rugrats. Yes. Oh, I know her name, Angelica. Yes. I don't know. Rugrats. Okay. Third one. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Is Kim Possible. Fifth picture. That's a reindeer. That's a moose. It's from Martha. Oh, okay. Our last picture. I don't think this is fair because I grew up in Taiwan, so you know what? I don't know. Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> no. It's from my life from a teenage robot. Okay, you guys, I'm old. I don't know any of these. Sorry. Sorry, teacher. So, I mean... The girls only got one point, but it's still a win. Win's a win. So the total year running is five to three. Girls in the lead by two. And that's pretty good because girls are amazing and guys are losers. So, yeah. What's up, Cardinals? I'm Valeria Gomez with a look at this day in history. On this day in history, back in 1889, female journalist L Nellie Blind began her successful attempt to travel around the world in less than 80 days. She completed the trip in 72 days. On this day back in history, in 1914, the Ottoman Empire declared war against Britain, France, Russia, and Serbia during the early months of World War I. And on this day in history, back in 1970, a plane carrying the Marshall University football team crashed into a hill just short of the Tri-State Airport, killing all 75 people on board. Eee, that's gotta hurt. That was a look back on this day in history. Let's send it back to Alyssa. That's it for your announcements this week. To play us out, here's Mariana and Ciara with your karaoke credits. I'm Alyssa Cabas. Thanks for watching. Baby. <laughs> I want to get with you. Out, but I cannot, baby girl, that's the issue. Yeah. Right now, you miss you. I just want to kiss you. But I can't run out, so baby, kiss me through the phone. I'll see you later on. Kiss me through the phone. See you when I get home. Baby, I know that you like me. You're my future wifey. Soldier boy, tell him, yeah, you could be my Bonnie. I could be your clad, you can be my wife. Text me, call me, I need you in my life. Yeah, all day and every day I need you. <laughs> I see ya. My feelings get deep, but I miss you, I miss you. I really want to kiss you, but I can't accept the nature. Oh, no, I need you. <laughs>